<clears throat> Good morning. One second. <laughs> I'm running in circles this morning, and I apologize in advance that my voice is not a hundred percent, but it's way better than it was a few days ago. I'm stocked up on coffee this morning. My coffee cup today is compliments of the state of Vermont, which is a beautiful state. I need to go back and visit again. Um, <clears throat> okay. I have a lot I want to talk to you about this morning, so I wanted to get started because I'm going to have to get out of here pretty quick. I've got tons of things I've got to get done today, and I have a Weight Watchers meeting this afternoon that I've got to get all my stuff packed and ready to go, but I wanted to talk to you about a very important subject, and um, it's lies, and we've all fallen prey or victim to these lies. We've all told ourselves these lies, and we've, more importantly, convinced ourselves that they are truth. So, I want to go through a list <clears throat> of some of them this morning, and then I want to read you something. Um, and I want you to, I'm asking you to listen with an open mind, um, listen with an open heart, and see if you recognize any of these lies that maybe you have told yourself or that you've believed. The first one is you can't do it. I can't do it. I can't, I can't follow this plan. I can't lose this weight. I can't change. Um, <clears throat> I said it in an earlier video and it sounds really harsh, but it's so true. And when I finally listened to it and got it in my heart, it made a big difference in my journey. Um, the truth is, I'm not that special. I'm not that different. If the plan is designed to work for uh, all of us based on scientific evidence and testing, then I'm not so special that it's going to work for everybody except me. If the plan isn't working, um, it's not because I can't do it. It's because I'm not doing it. That's number one. <clears throat> Hang on a second. Number two um, in our list of lies is it's just a bite. <clears throat> it's not just a bite. It may be just a bite of food on your fork, but it's so much more here than just that bite. When we give ourselves permission to start down that slippery slope of just a bite, it becomes so much more than just what's on that fork. It becomes uh, permission that we are now giving ourselves to no longer listen to the scientific evidence behind the plan. We're giving ourselves permission to not keep the promise that we made to ourselves when we started the plan. We're giving ourselves permission to do what we used to do that got us into the shape that we were in when we decided to start this in the first place. So it's not just a bite. <clears throat> Number three, I don't need to track or I don't need to track that. Um, I know how much it is. I've got it up here. I don't need to put it in my tracker. I could not disagree with that more. Um, I don't even agree. This is me speaking. I don't even agree that if it's zero points, I don't need to track it. I know for me, if I don't track it, it becomes so much more than what it originally was. For instance, I don't have to track if I eat a boiled egg. But if I don't track that boiled egg, that boiled egg will become a boiled egg and a piece of string cheese. Or maybe a handful of crackers 
because I'll remember how much those are. I didn't need to track the egg, and I know how much is in a string cheese. So, I do not agree with I don't need to track. You do you, and I'll do me, but if you're struggling, I encourage you, track. Track everything. Go back and look. If you're having a bad week or you had a gain on the scale, you can go back to your tracker and look and see exactly what you had last week. And more often than not, whatever the culprit was will jump out at you. Or you can take it to a leader or you can ask a friend who's being successful on Weight Watchers to look at it and help you spot the culprit. Track, you do need to track. And while we're on the subject of friends, not every friend um, has your best interest at heart. Why would you ask a friend who isn't successful at Weight Watchers to give you advice on Weight Watchers? If you were having trouble in your marriage, would you go ask advice of somebody who has a lousy marriage? I wouldn't think so. I would think you would go ask somebody who has a proven track record of getting through um, ups and downs in marriage. So be careful who you ask advice from. Um, lie number four, it's freestyle's fault. We've talked about this ad nauseum. Um, it's not freestyle's fault. It's not smart points fault. It's not points plus fault. It's not Weight Watchers fault. It's my fault. I put the food in my mouth. I put the food on my plate. I chose to go off plan. I chose to tweak. I decided that I was smarter than the science. Um, it's not anybody's fault but me. <clears throat> Number six, I don't need to change. Well, if you don't want to see different results, you're right, you don't need to change. But if what you're doing isn't getting you the results that you want and the results that you see other people having, then you're going to have to change. If you um, are someone who says, well, I don't like to cook, you may need to learn. Uh, I don't want to give up carbs. You might not give up weight. Um, I don't want to give up my bread. It feels like too much of a diet. How's that working for you? To quote Dr. Phil. Change requires change. Nobody's telling us that we can't eat carbs. What they are telling us is we need to be aware of the carbs that we're putting in our body. Nobody's telling us that we can't eat bread. But you may not be able to eat bread three times a day and lose weight. If you want to see different results, you're going to have to make some changes. Change sometimes is painful, but it's just a part of life. The things that I gave up a year ago were painful. Those don't bother me anymore because I'm used to eating that way. And now I can have those occasionally. More often than not, I don't want it anymore though. So. You may need to change. Number seven, I'll start Monday. I would love to have a dollar for every time I started a diet on Monday. Um, and the only reason we start on Monday is because that gives us permission to gorge and have an all out um, food fest until Monday. We tell ourselves the lie, I'll get it out of my system. No, you won't. No, you won't. We tell ourselves that um, it'll give me plenty of time to plan. Really? Is that what you're going to use that time between now and then to do? Don't put it off. If you've already blown it this morning, start at lunch. There's no rule that says you have to start with breakfast. So whatever lie you're telling yourself to give yourself permission to not start at the very next meal, it's a lie. Don't fall for it. It doesn't tell you the truth. Um, <clears throat> number eight, um, I don't need pointed food. I can live on zero point food. Well, you can. 
but you shouldn't. It's called a balanced diet for a reason. If I eat only food on the SMART points, uh, that have SMART points attributed to them, I'm missing out on so much good food. I'm missing out on um, healthy fats, complex carbohydrates, good, um, uh, good uh, options that I wouldn't have if I restricted myself to that zero point food list. There isn't a piece of written literature in existence where Weight Watchers said only eat from this list. It doesn't exist because that was never the intention. The intention is for you to choose foods from this list and then round it out with the pointed food. So don't fall for that lie that if you eat only zero point food, you'll lose weight faster because it won't work. I promise you it will not work. Um, the, the last one I want to cover is I'm not worth it. It's not worth it. I don't, I can't do this. It's, it's too much trouble. I have failed too many times before. Um, nobody believes me when I say it. I don't even believe me when I say it. So what? So you said it. So you failed. So you quit Weight Watchers a dozen times or 20 times or 50 times. Who cares? What matters is what you do starting right now going forward. And nobody can be a better predictor of that than you. You determine how much effort you want to put into it and how successful do you want to be. If you don't want to lose weight, if it's not important to you to get your health under control and to be a different size this time next year, excuse me, then don't worry about it. Keep doing what you're doing. But stop lying to yourself because all you're doing is beating yourself down, lowering your self-esteem even more than it already, already is, and making it harder for you to love yourself. Um, you may not ever be a size four, but if you could be two sizes smaller than you are now and lower your blood sugar and decrease your risk of heart attack and take weight off of your joints that are wearing out, um, isn't that worth it? Forget the size. Let's just talk about your body, what we're doing to our body by overeating and overindulging and and um, giving in to those uh, little temper tantrums that we throw that say, but by golly, I want that box of Thin Mint Cookies. Really, do we need the whole box? Um, let's just look at our body and start being honest about our future. If you're okay with not being able to get around and needing your joints replaced and living every day with the risk of a heart attack, or uh, being pre-diabetic or staying on uh, diabetic medication or needing medication for cholesterol control or I'm gonna put this out there and this may get me some slams but please listen to me if you're okay with your significant other not being attracted to you physically because you've let yourself go so badly. Don't worry about it. I wasn't okay with that. I know personally, if my husband allowed himself to get in really bad uh, shape physically and really bad health because he just didn't take care of himself, I would love him until my dying day, I would love him, but physically, I might not be attracted to him anymore. And that's not uh, a slam on him, that's just natural. So, if you're okay with your spouse not being attracted to you or your significant other, then don't worry about it. If you're not okay with that, take ownership. Do something about it, but stop believing the lies. Um. <clears throat> You have a choice. You can either take control 
or you can cave. But the choice is yours. Nobody can make that decision but you, um, and nobody can own it but you. So I encourage you this week, take control. Stop believing the lies, and maybe this would help. Get a tablet and a pen and keep it near your desk or where you eat. Every time one of those lies pops into your head, write it down. Start a list of the number of lies that, that you try to tell yourself. And when you don't cave, give yourself a star beside that lie. Um, I want to read you something that a friend of mine wrote on Facebook, and I saw it this morning after I had already decided <clears throat> what I was going to talk to you about today, but it was so relevant. She said, when facing change, our feelings are the least truthful thing we can rely on, and yet it's the one that we rely on the most. Never trust your feelings. Never trust your emotions. They're not real. They're skewed. They're so easily altered. If you don't do something different, you won't get different results. How many times have we heard that? So if you're tired of going in circles, stop going in circles. Feelings lie. Stand on truth. Write yourself a note today. May sound silly, but write yourself a note today. Write down the lies that you've been falling for, that you've been telling yourself, that you've been making excuses for. Write them down. Put it in, in print so that you have to face it. And then stop believing them. You deserve to get out of this pit. You deserve to break free of this circle. The circle won't get you anywhere. It just keeps going in the same place. And you deserve so much more. And you're capable of so much more. But as long as we believe these lies, and as long as we tell ourselves these lies, and as long as we keep looking for advice and validation from people who are caught in their own circle, we're not going to break free of this addiction. So... We have 70 something thousand members. Very, very many of them have broken free of this. Ask for their advice. Look for the advice of somebody who has proven they figured it out. Doesn't mean they're not gonna fall. Good Lord, I make mistakes every day. But um, look for the advice of somebody who knows what they're talking about, not just somebody who's gonna agree with you because that really doesn't get us anywhere. I don't need you to agree with me. I love it when you do, but if I'm telling myself a lie, I don't want you to validate that lie. I want you to, to tell me, um, maybe not. Let's talk about this. Love me enough to tell me the truth. And then I want to be adult enough and strong enough to hear what you have to say. So this week, we're not going to fall for the lies. No more lies. Um, our next challenge, this challenge that we've been on ends um, Wednesday, the 14th. <coughs> Our next challenge will begin Thursday for 30 days, February 15 through March 15. We are going to do a back to basics, all in, no excuses, no lies challenge. Um, if you're not ready to commit to being honest with yourself, and strict. Um, we're going to track. We're going to plan. We're going to share. We're going to move. And um, we're going to be honest with each other for 30 days. If you can agree and commit to doing that with me for 30 days, then I encourage you. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Just getting over this flu, so I'm sorry. Um, then I encourage you to join me. But if not, you may want to sit this one out. I hope you won't. I hope you'll dig deep. You got 24 or 48 hours to dig deep and get ready to do this with me. <clears throat> Let me look and see if I can see any of your comments on here. Um, I, I love being able to do this with you. I love being able to converse back and forth. I'm looking at some options of... of uh, uh, Facebook is making some changes 
on uh, live videos. So we may be switching this over to YouTube Live, um, but I think I'll still be able to send you a link. You'll just need to subscribe to our uh, Weight Watchers Over 50 YouTube page uh, in order to do it. But if you haven't subscribed, please go over to YouTube and search Weight Watchers Over 50 and hit the subscribe button. Um, because if we do have to switch over, it'll just make it easier for us to continue doing this. Um, poor planning prevents pudgy people. <laughs> I love that. Oh, if not now, when? I'm in. I love it, Beverly. If not now, when? Let's get rid of when. We've, we've lived with that when hanging out over our head for way too many years. Um, let's do it now. Let's do it now. 2018 is rapidly going by. I cannot believe we're already almost 45 days into the year. Um, and I told you January 1, 2018 is your year. I still believe that. But I'm not going to let you waste any more time. We're going to make 2018 your year. I want to celebrate with all of you reaching your goal this year and achieving that, um, that awesome status of lifetime. Um, I said before, I would love to know that in a boardroom somewhere in New York City, the, the upper echelon of leadership in Weight Watchers is looking at a report and saying, what in the world is happening with our members over 50? They're all um, having incredible losses. And, um, you know, we will never know that, but I just love the thought of it. I just think it's the coolest thing to think that we're making a difference. But if we don't ever make a difference in the world of Weight Watchers, let's make a difference in your body this year. Um, <clears throat> What do you want your 2019 self to say to your 2018 self? Here's what I want mine to say. Good job, girl, on not believing those lies. I believed it for too many years. I told myself too many lies. So stop telling yourself the lies and more importantly, stop believing them. Whether they came from you or the person sitting next to you or the person on the other side of that keyboard, they may not be lying to you intentionally. Um, could be that they're trying to convince you of the lie that they're trying to convince themselves of. That way they're not alone in believing it. Just a thought. Christine, I'm so sorry you're homesick with the flu. I've been homesick with it for a week and I'm sick of being sick. Uh, I still have a, a, a cough hanging on, but so much better today. I'm going uh, to get my hair done today. I've got some errands to run and I have a Weight Watchers class to get packed up and ready for this afternoon. So I'll be praying for you today. Hang in there, it does get better. Uh, <clears throat> Jackie, I needed the chat too. Um, I, I even now will you know, convince myself that I don't need to track that one bite or um, that that one indulgence is not a big deal. And sometimes it's not a big deal, but um, if I have to convince myself of it, then it is a big deal. Because then it's not, uh, it's not a planned indulgence. It becomes um, a lie that I convinced myself was okay. And, that, and lies are never okay. Um, <clears throat> if it's something I planned, great. If it's not, then I caved. And there's a difference. Um, I'm going to get out of here. I promised I wasn't going to keep you long. And um, I kept you longer than I said I was going to. But um, I hope you hear my heart today. I, I hope you... Learn to believe in yourself. I hope that you believe that you are worth not believing the lies anymore. So get yourself um, a piece of paper, put it in the kitchen, put it by your desk, put it wherever you need to be. Um, and every time one of those lies comes along and tries to convince you of it, write it down. There's power in the written word. So when you see it, written there, somehow it just makes it easier to look at it and say, you know what, that's not truth, and I won't walk in truth. I mean, I won't walk in lies anymore. I'm going to walk in truth. You're worth it. Um, have a wonderful week. 
if you're battling this flu, take care of yourself. It's not a it's not easy. This was a tough one and it came out of nowhere. What is the YouTube channel? It's Weight Watchers Over 50 on YouTube. All of our videos are archived there. And if the, this change is going, uh, I'm talking to the powers uh, that be with uh, large pages uh, at Weight Watchers. And if they make the changes they're thinking about, then we will switch our live videos to start on um, YouTube. And then I'll just post a link to the Facebook group. But you would need to click on the link to be able to watch it live. Um, the difference, too, is the videos that are shared on um, our YouTube page are available to members, I mean, to folks who are not members of our Facebook group. But um, if they're stored on our Facebook group, you have to be a member of our group to watch it because we are a closed secret group, which means only members can see what's posted. So have a wonderful week. Um, be sure and reach out if you need help. Um, just reach out to the right people and then listen when they tell you the truth. Um, and I will catch you on the board. Talk to you later. Bye, everyone.